but it was that continuing cooperation and collaboration that created these kinds of very unique and distinct uh, efforts uh, in, in allowing our students to become leaders. Well, that's interesting. I mean, that's so good to hear that, um, and I've always known that you're interested in um, uh, supporting student leaders, leaders and leadership. And so I was a student leader, and I remember, you know, I recollect that when I was a student leader with my passion, with what I thought was the most important thing, and I'm willing to just make this the most important thing and protest Jack Peltison, protest the administration and, and all of that and be quite um, harsh with my methods. So my, my question to you is I'm sure that you uh, have at the same, you know, while, while you're supporting student leadership, I'm, I'm sure that some students have been harsh with you. How, how would you, how did you handle that? Well, the issue that you might have been referring to was affirmative action in certain ways. It was a bit conflictive policy for a number of years. Uh, within the regents and within the university. Uh, Ward Connerly unfortunately became a regent leader in the anti-affirmative action uh, movement that swept across the, the nation. Uh, unfortunately, in my view, shortchanging number of students uh, from their future development very prematurely. But uh, the, the, I was appointed by Laura Wilkening, who came in 1993, but in 1995 I was appointed Vice Chancellor of Student Affairs uh, by her. And um, she um, was, uh, uh, like many of the chancellors, were very, very much in support of diversity and uh, efforts to increase the diversity of the enrollment. I was faced with a hunger strike, <laughs> a major, uh, UCI became ground zero for student leadership against the UC policy. and. Uh, I, the chancellors, many people had to face uh, student leaders who, uh, le for very legitimate reasons, didn't understand the complexity of the, of the entire university structure uh, and that they could have a vice chancellor that supported affirmative action, but they still had to protest against him. And that's the situation I found myself in. Perhaps you did too as a UC region in, in certain other dimensions of issues related to uh, 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 the efforts that were underway to expand opportunity in feminist studies, and ethnic studies, and um, uh, enrollment representation, which was woefully uh, terrible because of uh, the inequality that existed in K-12 education, and right. generally the inequality in society. <laughs>